David Richard Berkowitz, famously known as the Son of Sam and the .44 caliber killer, is an infamous figure in American criminal history. His criminal saga, which gripped New York City in fear during the mid-1970s, remains a disturbing chapter in the annals of American crime. Early Life David Berkowitz was born on June 1, 1953, in Brooklyn, New York. He was adopted by Nathan and Pearl Berkowitz when he was just a few days old. His childhood, by his own account, was somewhat troubled, marked by a rebellious nature and minor instances of pyromania. Despite these early signs of behavioral issues, nothing in his childhood overtly suggested the dark path he would eventually follow. Military service In 1971, Berkowitz enlisted in the United States Army, serving for a brief period. His time in the military was relatively uneventful, and he was honorably discharged in 1974. After his discharge, he returned to New York City and worked several jobs, including being a security guard and a mail sorter for the U.S. Postal Service. The Son of Sam Killings began on July 29, 1976, initiating a period of terror in New York City that lasted for about a year. Berkowitz carried out a series of shootings using a .44 caliber bulldog revolver, targeting young women and couples in lovers' lanes. His attacks seemed random and unprovoked, creating widespread panic and fear throughout the city. In total, Berkowitz killed six people and wounded seven others. His modus operandi was to approach a parked car and rapidly fire his weapon at the occupants. He sometimes left letters near the crime scenes, taunting the police and journalists, which further added to his notoriety. Capture and conviction Berkowitz was eventually captured on August 10, 1977, following an extensive manhunt. His capture was aided by a parking ticket that was issued to his car near the scene of one of the shootings. After his arrest, Berkowitz confessed to all of the shootings, claiming that he was obeying the orders of a demon that spoke to him through his neighbor Sam's dog. In 1978, he pled guilty to all of the shootings and was sentenced to six consecutive life sentences in prison. Over the years, Berkowitz has made various claims about his motivations and mental state during the time of the killings, at times retracting his earlier statements about demonic possession. David Berkowitz's reign of terror left an indelible mark on New York City and on American society as a whole. His case prompted significant media coverage and public discussion about serial killers, mental illness, and the safety of urban environments. The fear and anxiety he generated led to changes in policing strategies and the passage of Son of Sam laws, designed to prevent criminals from profiting from the publicity of their crimes. In prison, Berkowitz has reportedly become a born-again Christian and has expressed remorse for his actions. Despite this, he remains a symbol of the random and inexplicable violence that can erupt in modern society. His story continues to fascinate and horrify, serving as a grim reminder of the potential for evil lurking in the shadows of everyday life. The case of David Berkowitz is particularly intriguing for psychologists and criminal profilers. Initially, Berkowitz claimed that his neighbor's dog was a conduit for a demonic force that commanded him to kill. This assertion led to widespread speculation about his mental health, with theories ranging from paranoid schizophrenia to psychopathy. However, in later years, Berkowitz recanted these claims, suggesting that they were part of a hoax to establish an insanity defense. His later admissions painted a picture of a deeply troubled individual seeking notoriety and revenge against a society he felt alienated from. Berkowitz's actions have been analyzed as a form of seeking power and control, common traits observed in serial killers. 
His selection of victims and the randomness of his attacks indicate a deep-seated animosity towards certain demographics, particularly young women and couples. Impact on Law Enforcement and Society The Son of Sam case had a profound impact on law enforcement tactics and public consciousness. Berkowitz's ability to elude capture for over a year exposed deficiencies in police procedures, leading to improved communication and coordination among various law enforcement agencies. The media frenzy surrounding the case also raised questions about the role of the press in reporting on such crimes. It led to the enactment of Son of Sam laws across the United States, aimed at preventing criminals from profiting from the publicity of their crimes through book deals or movie rights. David Berkowitz, the son of Sam, remains a complex and enigmatic figure in criminal history. His case continues to be studied by criminologists, psychologists, and law enforcement officials as an example of extreme criminal pathology. The fear he instilled in the heart of New York City in the 1970s, E.C.,